So. Okay, for my final review here, we're going to be taking a look at this um, interactive microscope. Uh, there's, there's some good stuff here in terms of just basic microscope use. So I like it. Um, there's no real experimental component, but it's all on focusing on the use of the scope. So we can go through the get started here where they give us a tour. Instead, we're just going to go ahead and give it a shot. So let's take a look at our onion root here. So we'll click on that, drag it over. Um, in the getting started, it tells you a little bit about how to adjust things. But here we're going to try and move this little guy. So it's up over the diaphragm and turn on our light source down here at the bottom and there's this switch view thing here where we can look what our, to see what our view looks like in a different circumstance it's not terribly clear but right now the four um, the four times is facing the scope so that's what we're seeing so we'll go to switch views here so since this is a binocular scope we have to adjust the oculars here so we'll bring them apart to bring the image to go it's a little too far to bring our image together and then from here and i'll move out of the way we need to focus our scope so we'll click on the button here to see if we get an image into focus it's like nothing there let's go the other direction ah there it was and there we have our onion root and let's go ahead and center that a little bit and zoom in on our onion root and once we have that we can crank up our magnification if we want a little hard to put it in the right spots but magnify it let me go open our diaphragm a bit Again, this would all be good stuff for the students to play with. So it's just basic microscope use and a chance to um, to do some adjustments. So once we're here, um, we can crank all the way up and so on. But it's pretty much basic microscope use. Again, we're going to go ahead and focus it a bit here. See if we get some good myto oops, mitosis images. Maybe a little more diaphragm. And it looks like we have some good stuff. Um, very good, uh, just basic introduction to how to use a scope. It's very similar to the real using a scope. Um, there's a checklist here to tell you whether or not you're doing the right stuff, um, which I think is good. Um, there's the getting started at well, thing here where it gives you a chance to go through things. A tour. If you get if you struggle a little bit, uh, my favorite part is this little try this option um, where it gives you a series of different scopes with or different images with different problems and it's your job to adjust to figure out what the problem is. Um, and so I like that um, because it, it gives the students an opportunity to sort of experiment with their struggles.